okay so let's take a look at how you can connect power bi to mysql database so here make sure that you have mysql installed along with two components one being your odbc second being your dotnet connector you can go to downloads and then find community downloads and you will have two options one being odbc connector and one dotnet connector these two you need in order for your mysql to get connected with power bi right now if we look at our cloud version right so if we go there and try and uh, connect to database you will find that there does not seem to be any options for that because by default it only supports azure sql so you will have to get an access for your azure online and then whatever the database you have over there you can connect to but for mysql they don't seem to have options so your best bet in that case is to use power bi before that i'm going to show you what data i have right so let's go to mysql workbench i'm going to log in with root right so let me right so here you see i have this local instance and i'm going to log in once logged in i can show you that i have these two schemas which are our databases of interest and it has this sale table if i select that it should show me the data something like this right so this is what we need right now we need to connect to this particular data and process it in power bi right so let's close this right so let's open power bi and click on open now what we can do is we'll see if our connector and odbc is working so for now let's just go to the workspace we will be uploading our mysql data into this particular workspace so if you want to get rid of any old files can do so right so apart from that we will just wait for power bi to start it's been a lot of load on my ram right now so it's taking like a few minutes to load the application so let's hope it does Okay, so here we are going to click on get data and then it should open one pop-up window where we can connect to the database mysql you can search for it alternatively we can select the database connect And here I'm going to type in localhost then colon 3306 also I want to point to data base named cells click on ok now it should open a dialog box where you can see it connected to this cells database and cell table if I select this it should give me the view of that particular database table where we have all those entries click on load right so once everything is loaded you can find your fields over here right so i will try and publish this to cloud and let's see if it works so my demo is the name of that particular file and hoping it goes online within my workspace and from there let's see if we can create a report out of this mysql data 
right so it says success click got it now let's go to our browse then workspace and now we have my demo so click on data set and here as you can see we have got the data now let's auto create the report and let's hope that it shows us the report out of that right so as you can see it has managed to pull the data that we just uploaded and it created a quick report out of this so hopefully you find this particular connectivity to mysql database useful for your work right so you get the idea how to connect mysql database to power bi okay now that we have connected to mysql database and we managed to import database table there are another way to work with this as well so if you go to your mysql and check for workbench you may notice that uh, let's go to our database cells table here you may notice that you have option to right click on it and let's see if i can export this so let's say table data export wizard right so i can choose which particular table i would table column i would require right so can only pick those particular columns right and i can then click next and try to get the data in csv or json format right so if i choose csv and let's see output location i just want it on desktop and if i name this something like cell demo right because i already have cells here so i can't see the same right field separator here is csv right and line separator lf right then export to local machine click next now here it will basically show you the progress of your action right now if we click on next and finish performing task click next right it has managed to export click finish now what we can do we will verify whether it worked right so here you see we have csv file double click on it right and here we get access to that particular csv data right now we have everything let's close the tool we have power bi right right so here if we choose get data and here if i choose text csv connect and choose cell demo right it will take all the rows right so as you can see everything seems to be there if you want to get rid of something you can do so let's see if i want to get rid of this rush on text i could but considering this is important part of the data i would not do that right so we can click on transform data in that case we'll be given access to power query editor right and here you can see if i want to get rid of this particular i can choose to also uh, you can remove empty also sort it ascending descending right and at the end i can click on close and apply now here you can see our fields are imported we can go ahead and click on home tab and click publish and we will be able to get the same type of content within our workspace where you can see 
I managed to upload the my demo data set, right? And I also got the report. Okay, sorry, this one wasn't auto created. So my workspace, then my demo. And here, as you can see, the same data would give you this auto created reports, right? So you get the idea how to get your data from MySQL database using the connector. So if you are still not sure, make sure that you go to MySQL, then downloads, make sure to download the open source edition of MySQL and also the ODBC connector and .NET connector, both of them are required, right? Once you have it, you would be able to connect your data into Power BI desktop then publish the file, take the data to cloud and from there you can auto create reports and do any online sharing if you wish to. Also you can do the rest of the processing within desktop version as well. But for those who want to share their data, it would require you to use the online version.